You're very welcome back to the show with National Brain Awareness Week beginning next Monday. Our next guest claims in her brand new book that she can maximize our memory and defy dementia. Yes, research psychologist and author Dr. Sabina Brennan joins us now with advice on how to ensure we keep our brains in tip-top shape as we go through life, of course. You're very welcome to the show, Good Sabina. Good to have you again. Thank you very much. Yes, our brains, I suppose it is an organ and often we ignore it. Absolutely. Absolutely, we carry it around in our head and don't give it a second thought. Um, and brain health really matters because you need your brain for everything. You mm. certainly do, across the board, every day. Why, why don't we have emphasis on, on the brain like we do other parts of our body? I, do, I don't know. I think it's because it's so integrated with us and because we can't see it. We talk about physical health and mm. thankfully in re recent years we're talking more and more about mental health. But uh, it kind of seemed crazy to me that nobody was talking about brain health. Um, and as I said, you need your brain for absolutely everything. And it really is important. It's your most important organ. Mm -hmm. I know you've done an awful lot. You're a research uh, psychologist. and You've done an awful lot of work in this area on dementia uh, on a European level as well. What do you see where we rank in Ireland when it comes to dementia and, and brain ageing and brain health? Well, I think, you know, dementia is a global mm -hmm. problem, you know, gro global challenge because we have, because we're living longer. Um, uh, and dementia primarily is a disease that hits us in later life. Um, there are early forms, but primarily it is. So as our population ages, we are going to get more people. Currently, there's about 50 million people globally living with dementia in Ireland. Yeah, in Ireland, we have about 55,000 mm -hmm. people, and those figures are set to, to treble. Mm -hmm. Currently, there's no cure, so um, prevention is key. The World Health Organization and various you know, national um, dementia strategies and groups, you know, all prioritise uh, prevention as and key. And you believe mm. that if you exercise your brain, and you talk about this in the 100 days yes. to better brain health in your book, to a younger brain, I should say, 100 days to a younger brain, you believe that you can actually prevent dementia or stop dementia? Yeah, I don't just believe it, to be honest. That, that Everything in that book is grounded in science, not just my, you know, my research. This is, and I don't clue, include any sort of one-off studies in the book. These are based on large bodies of research uh, where there's meta-analysis, you know, where people gather even research mm -hmm. together to, to look at these things. So based on things, for example, uh, we know uh, that about... 30% of all cases of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of mm -hmm. dementia, are attributable to just seven modifiable risk factors. And what are they? So they are um, low levels of physical activity, mm -hmm. low levels of educational attainment or mental stimulation, mm -hmm. midlife obesity, type 2 diabetes, midlife hypertension, depression, and smoking. And these are facts. This is based on yes. This is based on a. a you can check Our out research. the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 in the Lancet Neurology, and basically, you know, what these very smart researchers did was looked at all these risk factors. Uh, it's called a power analysis. So, so, so we should be doing research. all this now. Say, I'm 42 years of age. Yeah. I, should, I should be doing all these things now. Sabine. Everybody with Everyone. the brain should be doing it. Yeah. I mean, I'm passionate. I'm trying you to work wait on. Shouldn't wait till 60 or 65. No, no, no. Absolutely not. I mean, I am passionate about, um, you know raising awareness about brain health for kids. You know, people tend to talk about ageing when we hit, like, you know, 50 or, or whatever, but we're ageing right across mm -hmm. our lifespan. What, what, can you give us an example, a physical example of what we can do? Um, well, physical exercise is superb for your brain. Your brain only weighs, weighs about 2% of your body, but it consumes 25% of your nutrients, right? So it's a, it's a high-energy organ. And that's why heart health features so much in the risk mm -hmm. factors for dementia, because your cardiovascular system, your heart pumps all the energy, oxygen and nutrients mm. that your brain needs. So they say feed your brain, they actually mean it. You actually do need to feed your brain, yes. It, and and um, the thing is, if your vascular system is clogged or not working properly, um, areas of your brain will be deprived of the oxygen and nutrients they need and will actually die off. So, you know, I mean, that's what a stroke mm -hmm. is, is when an area of the brain is deprived, you know, for a period of time of, of oxygen. But that can be happening at minuscule levels and bit by bit and mm -hmm. building up. So looking after your heart, getting physically active, sorry. No, I was just going to say, you actually have a lot of videos. The, the, in the book, you actually chart and you, you actually can... Um, yourself or the reader can chart the 100 days to better brain health at the back of the whole lot of notice. Well, that you do it as you go along. So, for example, sleep is hugely important for mm -hmm. brain health. Your brain doesn't 
doesn't rest while you sleep. Yeah. And social activity. Social engagement is vital, critical for brain mm -hmm. health. And that's why social isolation is such a big issue. It's, it, it impacts on your, your physical health, but also on your, your cognitive functioning. So we need to keep people engaged. But yes, each chapter deals with one of these things. It's a very, very practical book. It's written yeah. in very... Um, Regular ordinary, language. Everyday mm. language. It's easy to understand, um, but it's practical. And so it tells you the goals you should have and in those 100 days how you achieve them. Tell us a little bit more about sleep and how it works with our brain. Okay, so as I said, when, when you go to sleep, so during the day as you're taking information in, you're taking in lots and lots of information, but it's sort of in, a, it's kept in a, like a temporary repository called your hippocampus, which is really deep in your brain. Um, but that needs to be cleared of that information so that it can take more information in tomorrow. So when you go asleep in the early part of the night, when you have lots of non-REM sleep, um, we see activation in the brain between that hippocampus and your frontal lobes. And um, this, we think, is like a filtering system that's going, forget that, forget that, oh, keep this, this mm -hmm. is important, right? And so your memories are started then, whatever's kept as a memory is integrated across your brain and, and embedded into your brain as a things memory. Things you need to keep, important the things, information. The things you want to keep, and so that you can recall it the next day. Mm -hmm. So it's called consolidation. But then, in the later part of the night, which is really the part of the morning before mm -hmm. we wake up, where you have more... REM sleep, which is where you dream. Activity, yeah. Those new memories, and this is really why you dream, those new memories are then integrated with relevant past experiences that you have had. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why often you wake up in the morning with the solution to a problem, with an idea for something mm -hmm. new or an insight. And that's why sleep is so important for Yeah, the, the old adage, you know, sleep on it, is supported by the science. Yeah. But there's a second reason sleep is really important, and that's related to Alzheimer's disease too. And that's, um, your brain needs to clean out toxins. I said your brain was the, a high energy consumer, which means it's, metabolism has toxins mm -hmm. and they have to be cleared out and your brain can't do that during the day while you're doing all your not as efficiently mm -hmm. as it can do how, it in the night. How much sleep do we need then Sabine really? So the sleep really it depends on age mm -hmm. kids should be getting you know over 10 hours sleep mm -hmm. we need to be doing that but as we get older seven to you know seven to, to, to nine you know if you're getting between six and nine hours you're good but it's individual but it's when you get the sleep that's mm -hmm. that's important as well. Okay can we just take a quick look at one of your videos and these are up free on the internet aren't they Sabina? You've, yeah you've I have a on. website sabinabrennan.ie and it links out to all my free materials. Okay we'll have a quick health. look. Number one, challenge yourself. The satisfaction you get from doing things slightly beyond your comfort zone actually changes your brain chemistry, making you feel more positive. Number two, change yourself. Novelty helps your brain, so it's good to experience new things, take on new situations and meet new people. And number three, learn something new. This encourages the growth of new brain cells and stimulates the connections between them which has its own benefits, because stronger brain connections also help keep your brain healthy. Our brain, Sabrina. Yes, Sabrina. yes. Mm -hmm. It's really important to push yourself beyond your comfort zone, Brilliant. because mm -hmm. learning is what brings the neuroplasticity. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You don't have to juggle, just like the video, just something new. A no. uh, 100 Days to a Younger Brain, it is called Dr. Sabrina Brennan. Of course, on the website, you can see those uh, videos as well. And this book is available in stores nationwide. Thank you so much and good Thank to see you. Lovely, great to have you again. Now, for all we've discussed there, if you would like some more information, head over to rt.ie forward slash support or check out hse.ie.